Hey, what's up? So we're starting here with a new project and I already have a sequence made for this. I'm gonna click on the text tool, shortcut key T, and just type in some text right here in my program monitor. Hey, everyone. Go back to the move tool and now we're gonna set this to the graphics workspace by clicking the graphics button up here. And if yours doesn't look like this, just press the little hamburger button right up here and hit reset to saved layout. Okay, so now here we are with our text selected in the essentials graphics panel. Let's click on the edit tab. Make sure our text is selected here. And I want to adjust the font because that font needs to be a little bit more thick. So let's go to the text layer and I'm gonna change mine to Helvetica bold black. Okay, but you may not have this. And if you don't just pick a nice thick juicy font Arial black or go to defont.com, pick something. And now what I'm gonna do is set this to all caps because we wanna be yelling at everyone. So I'm gonna press all caps. And now, you know, we're just like, hey everyone. I don't know if you heard that, but if you did, I'm sorry. So now let's actually reduce the size because you know, I don't want it to be that loud. So I'm just gonna bring it down to around 80 for the font size. And then I'm going to center align this. And that way later on when we already have this all nice and centered and we change the text, it's not, we're not gonna have to recenter it. Speaking of centering, let's go up here to the align and transform, align it both vertically and horizontally. So now it's in the middle of our screen and we're done with the text. And now we can go to the text right here in the timeline and we need to duplicate it. We need to give it a little brother. So I'm gonna hold down alt or option on my keyboard. Click the text, drag it up one track, let go, and now we have a duplicate. So now the entrance is a little bit too rough. It's just gonna snap right in. Nice. We want to add a cross dissolve to calm that down. I'm gonna select both tracks, and then I'm gonna press Control or Command D to add a default cross transition to all my selected clips. Okay, looking good so far. Now it's a little bit too slow, so I wanna speed it up. I'm just gonna click and drag the cross dissolve down a little bit. Let's try around there and I'm gonna offset this bottom track playthrough. And that is the time that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna bring this back. And actually I'm gonna double click this cross dissolve transition, copy that duration, controller command C to copy, and just paste it into the rest of these cross dissolve transitions here. Right click set transition duration and paste that in controller command V press OK, and now all of our cross dissolves are set to the same transition time. All right, play through that. And the last thing we need to do is change the color of the bottom text. So the bottom text here is white. Let's click on it. Central graphics panel, change the fill color to, I'm gonna change it to red, but you can change it to whatever color you want. Press OK, and now we have that red color. So I can bring this top track back, but if I bring it back all the way, you can see we barely see any red happening there. And what I can do for that, I'm gonna just zoom in here with the plus key. I can offset this top track two frames. So we start off with a little bit of red and then the white comes in. Now you can adjust this as you want. Okay, zooming out with the minus key, I'll zoom back in over here and just offset this two frames. Bam, zoomed back out with the backslash key underneath the backspace and play through. Let me shorten this up a little bit. Just gonna select these two, bring it down to around two seconds. Play through. Hey everyone. Cool. And that is all there is to it. Now you can duplicate this and change up your text until you have your final message. Like so, hey everyone. Welcome to this tutorial. Now get creative with it, add a nice background, whatever you wanna do. That is how you can create a nice color transition for your text right here in Premiere. Hope this helped. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.